For 80 years has it been with us. Even in dark years has it helped the soldiers in World War II. From a company with 20 employees to now one of the biggest toy companies in the world. The classics. Disney, Corn Popper, Xylophone, Snapchat Beats, That Thing from Toy Story, Little People, Mega Bloks, Rescue Heroes, Thomas and Friends, Power Wheels, to Baby Products, <laughs> to Baby Products, All Hail to the Toy Empire, Fisher Price. The toy to review today from this almighty company is. Whoa. Yeah, I did promise myself I'm not gonna be a school teacher, but I did also spend eight years in majoring education. Gotta do something with it. Just see this as a perspective of a guy who was going to be an educator. For those who are soon to become parents or recently got one or two, three, I don't know. I hope this helps when buying this product. So yeah, it's a piggy bank. The actual product name is Laugh and Learn Piggy Bank. If you go to the Fisher Price website, the toys are categorized by brands. This one's on Laugh and Learn. So basically you play with it, you learn something, and laugh. Anyway, the price is the fuck. So apparently I bought the previous model. Doesn't seem like it has changed much. The design rather got much simple. Come on, it's still just a piggy bank. Can't be that different, right? Right! So the toys were 6 and 12 month olds. But if you're watching this, you didn't come here just to see me read the instructions, so we'll pass. The product consists of, of course, a piggy bank, and 5 pairs of plastic coins with different colors. You turn on the switch by going to the first level, it'll make sounds you'll know right away when it's on. The nose also makes sounds when pressed. Yeah, I didn't know that and got a bit surprised since he said not to touch his nose at the first press. So there's about 6 to 10 different sounds when pressing the nose. The sound isn't that loud, so I think it won't disturb anyone as long as they need absolute silence to concentrate. But know that if your kid is obsessed with this, that's all you're gonna be hearing. So good luck caretakers, you're lost, not mine. Since it's a piggy bank, what you do is put in the coin and take it out. There's a sensor in the hole, so when the coin's in, the toy starts counting. You put in all the coins, music comes out. Simple reward for repetition. After counting to 10, it goes back to 1. It also makes sounds when you open and close it. It sometimes seems to rush you in closing when opened. Mother Level 2 isn't so different, it just counts in both English and Spanish. If you look at the coins, it has numbers. Might help the visual learners. If you flip the coins, it has animals, which some I have no idea what they are. Honestly, I don't care. If you are to do something with the coins, you can have the kids put in the coins in numerical order, have them figure out what number is under what animal if they like animals, or just have them match colors. That's all I can think of now. If you don't want to, you don't have to. You basically bought this so you can do whatever you like while your kids spend time. Personally, I think it's a decent product. It's a piggy bank, but not boring, at least to the kids. And if you use it right, you might be able to find more activities to do with it. $32 is quite expensive, but if the recent edition is 20, then I find it reasonable. It's not perfect though. I mean, the stickers attached wrong so the kids might take it off and swallow it. The size of the coins are different without any patterns. Would have been better to have the bigger numbers have a bigger size, but that's just my personal opinion. Of course, they considered all of this when making them. Another thing is on the Spanish. I don't know if it was necessary. I mean, it seems counting one to 10 in Spanish is learned during elementary school. I did that when I was in third grade. Forgot every other things to say in Spanish, but still remember the numbers though. That's how easy it is. Maybe putting more sentences in Spanish would have been more helpful. Oh yeah, you need AA batteries. It's included but recommends you to use new ones. Mine worked fine without changing them. They don't want to take out the screwdriver. Was it helpful? Got other opinions? Are there other toys you want me to review?